हेलो एवरीवन आई शिल्पा शर्मा फ्रॉम सेंट थॉमस इंग्लिश मीडियम स्कूल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इन इंग्लिश लिटरेचर एंड स्टैंडर्ड फाइव सो दिस इज द पिक्चर ऑफ मुंशी मुंशी प्रेमचंद जी ही इज ही वाज अ हिंदू राइटर एंड ही ही इज वेरी फेमस एंड आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर सम इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट हिम मुंशी प्रेमचंद जीज रियल नेम इज धनपत राय श्रीवास्तव ही बॉर्न ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट जुलाई नाइनटीन एटी एंड ही डाइड एट ऑक्टोबर नाइनटीन थर्टी सिक्स बेटर नोन बाय हिज पेन नेम मुंशी प्रेमचंद वॉज एन इंडियन राइटर फेमस फॉर हिज मॉडर्न हिंदुस्तानी लिटरेचर ही इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट सेलिब्रेटेड राइटर्स ऑफ द इंडियन सबकॉन्टिनेंट and is regarded as one of the foremost hindi writers of early 20th century he still he is very famous and his novels are so famous and especially between that youngsters youngsters are like the most uh, these writers uh, novels and things his novels included godhan karma bhumi uh, gaban Mansarovar, Lagah. These all are these all novels are very famous. So that is why these uh, names are mentioned over here. He published his first collection of five short stories in 1907 in a book called So Is Vatan. So this is the little bit information about Munshi Premchand ji. now my elder brother this is the story which took from munshi premchand ji's novel only and in hindi name is bade bhai sahab this is the this is a translation in english so now we are going to study this a uh, hostel room two brothers aged 9 and 14 years Sitting at a study table, the elder brother Bhaiya is reading a book, and a younger one Munna is drawing pictures of birds and animals. So this is the story of two brothers. That elder one, he that uh, Munna used to call him Bhaiya. Name is not given over here, and the younger one's name is Munna. So this is the scene over here, scene one. Bhaiya. What are you doing, Munna? Munna, I am drawing. Bhaiya, when will you study? Where were you in the morning? So now, big Bhaiya means big brother is asking that what are you doing? And he replied that I am I am drawing. I am. And he asked where were you in the morning? And you don't want to study? Munna, turning pale. I was playing bhaiya how can you sit with book for hours together bhaiya that's because i want my foundation in education to be very strong if the base is strong then the building will stand firmly sometimes it takes me 2 years to do one years work now according to bhaiya base or a foundation is very very important for education not even education for everything uh, that base and foundation is very very important if that base is strong only then you can go further otherwise things will be collapse munna bhaiya are you 5 years old then i am and three classes ahead of me i wonder why you keep writing the same word 20 times one sentence more than 20 times and copy poems several times in beautiful letters a munna asked bhaiya why are you writing same letters 20 times and poem more than 20 times in a beautiful handwriting bhaiya You know, studying English is no childish play. One has to work very hard in order to learn 
the subject to speak or write english properly term nouns effort is required but the moment you get a chance you run to the field play marbles and fly paper kites or sit idling away with friends for fun can't you sit down and study bhaiya replied to the munna if you want to learn english then you have to work hard you cannot sit as a idol when the uh, that bhaiya was studying at that time munna was playing with his friends he was playing marble flying paper kite and uh, roaming around with friends so this is the picture of bhaiya and munna now munna oh bhaiya there is a big mela in the village today should we go bhaiya have you ever seen me going to a fair or going to watch a cricket or hockey match i don't go near them i prefer to study a book i don't mind repeating a class for more than 2 years but you might stay in the same class all your life do you expect to pass if you waste your time playing all the games you are simply wasting father's hard earned money now munna offered bhaiya to come with him a mela but bhaiya said i don't i don't refer to go to the mela or watch any kinds of game because bhaiya doesn't want to waste his father's money munna starts crying on being scolded and so being sounds a uh, a uh, munna bhaiya i feel like running away and going home back why munna is saying such thing because they both brothers are in the hostel for their studies bhaiya now now stop crying put on a nice smile look i will make a time table for you to follow get up and down time 6 am wash your hands have your breakfast and sit down to study 6 to 8 am english 8 to 9 am maths 9 to 9:30 history 3 to 3:30 then off to school 5 to 6 grammar half an hour for scrolling 6 to 6:30 to 7 english composition then dinner 8 to 9 translation 9 to 10 pm hindi 10 to 11 pm other subjects then to bed so this time table is made by bhaiya for munna munna but when is the time to play bhaiya play what is the need munna bhaiya didn't mention any time for a refreshment or playing games that is why munna asked that you didn't mention time for play and he, that bhaiya said there is no need for games and play munna oh i love the green field you have mastered the game you have to work hard to be successful in life so according to bhaiya if you want something if you want to be successful if you want to make your base strong there is no shortcut you have to work hard for that when you have to study a subject like algebra or geometry in the higher classes then you will understand the importance of hard work in geometry if one writes a c b instead of a b c the answer is marked wrong the examiners will not spare you they want you to learn word by word from the textbooks munna o oh, bhai saab this is scary i don't think I want to go to the ninth class now, but I will still complete my day's homework so that 
I get no punishment in class. So when that Bhaiya told about algebra and geometry and how examiners are very strict, that time Munna said that he doesn't want to go in a higher classes. He is scared by hearing that statement. Bhaiya, just today we were asked to write a short essay on the topic of punctuality in four pages and imagine can something be written on four pages and still be short it's all of mixed up munna thinking alone thank god it was time for school or else the schooling would have gone on and on scene three result were out once again and it so happened that Munna passed and Bhaiya failed again. Bhaiya was really upset. Munna was also sad seeing his brother so unhappy. Bhaiya now became gentler with Munna. Munna became naughtier because of this and studied even less than before. Now as you can see that Bhaiya is working very hard. He is giving as much time as he can to the studies but he is failing again and again and Munna totally opposite that Munna he is not studying at all most of the time he is playing now again Bhaiya failed so Bhaiya became so upset and Munna is also upset for Bhaiya now Bhaiya became gentle with Munna because he is passing but now seeing that I am passing without hard work, Munna became more naughtier. Munna talking aloud, Oh, I am lucky I can pass easily. I need not study so hard. Now I can play game with my friends and fly kites. But I should still be careful that Bhaiya does not see me flying kites. Now Munna became overconfident that he can pass so easily and he is a lucky boy. One day a kite is flying slowly downwards. Munna starts running in order to grab it. Suddenly he becomes face to face with Bhaiya. Bhaiya catching hold on Munna's hand. Aren't you ashamed to be playing kites all day long? Don't you realize? that now you are in 8th class and are not studying in a lower classes. If you think that I am just one class ahead of you and I can't see anything, you are wrong. Now according to Bhaiya, Munna is in 8th standard, 8th grade and he has to work hard. But Munna is flying kite all day. So that is why he is saying such things to Munna. I am 5 years older than you are and will always be. Understanding doesn't come only for reading books. Look at Ma and Baba. Ma has never gone to school and Baba has only passed 5th class. Muna, really Bhaiya? Is that true? Now Bhaiya is sharing his thoughts with Munna. Bhaiya, yes, there are Yes, there are thousand things that they know more than you or me. And even if we have studied the wisdom of the whole world, Ma and Baba will always have the right to explain to us and correct us. Now, according to Bhaiya, if you are studied so well, if you achieve, if you will achieve something in your life, then also our parents has right to say something to us and to correct us because wisdom is the thing of the knowledge it doesn't mean it will come from that uh, books only your whole life experience is also something and that is very very important to ahead a life Munna I don't know Bhaiya I would tell Baba sorry 
Now what would you do if I were to fall sick today? Mona, I don't know, Bhaiya. I would tell Baba and he would rush to the hostel. Bhaiya, oh, I had expected this answer. Now Baba would not get upset. He would first try to find out what was wrong and then he would call a doctor. Baba would know exactly what to do. They have more experience than us. As I told you, uh, our elders, they have seen so many things and they have passed so many that ups and down days in their life. So they have experience of everything. So that is why we have to obey them. We have to listen them. Munna, with tears in his eyes, Bhaiya, I am so I am sorry. What you say is true. Bhaiya hugs Munna lovingly. Bhaiya, I also like to play and fly kites. But if I also play, then how can I watch out for you? You are my responsibility. Munna, I love you, Bhaiya. Now, what Munshi Premchandji is trying to say in this that you have to work hard for everything and that is necessary but only that books knowledge is not required that wisdom and your experience and to understand that you have responsibilities your responsibilities are very very important why that bhaiya didn't want to go to the mela or watch cricket or watch football or games because he knows that his Baba is working very hard to earn money and he doesn't want to waste behind all that stuff. That is why he was studying all along all day. And he thinks Munna's responsibility is on his head. So he has to watch out Munna first and rest after. So we have to work hard. We have to think about our responsibility. We have to obey our teachers and elders and we have to learn from their experience, from their life experiences. Okay.